Well, how do we know this theory is true? In our cells right now, in you, we're pretty evolutionary advanced, I feel, um, you have these cells called mitochondria. They actually have different DNA than your nucleus. Mitochondrial DNA is completely separate, and so we actually know that this DNA comes from your mother, and it is going to um, be a little bit more advanced. And so we see that this could be this proof that the endosymbiotic theory actually occurred. Now these eukaryotic organisms, they're all going to have things like organelles, which are membrane bound. They're going to have a nucleus. They a lot of times have DNA and um, they'll form what we know as symbiotic relationships with other organisms or other cells. And so one of the things this endosymbiotic theory allows for us to show the symbiotic relationship between a very large um, eukaryotic cell and a very small eukaryotic cell. Now, we also have these beautiful things called mitochondria and chloroplast. Mitochondria is important because it's the powerhouse of the cell. It's producing our ATP, it's starting both plant and animal cells. Again, it has its own DNA. And then we have our chloroplast. Chloroplast is found in um, plant cells and some of our bacteria cells. And so these organelles were both have their own DNA, their own separate DNA, and they're developed through the process of the endosymbiotic theory. Our oldest fossils um, are what you know as red algae. Now, algae is a protist. It's not actually a bacteria, um, and it's not actually a plant. It's a protist cell. Um, but they show that many scientists have appeared that these eukaryotic cells appeared about 2 billion years ago. We have some fossil records that show that. And um, we also believe that these are, we have three major life groups, and that is our bacteria, which is our regular bacteria, which you guys collected, our archaea bacteria, which is like bacteria that lives in crazy harsh environments. Um, and then we have our eukaryotes. And our eukaryotic organisms are not advanced organisms. Don't think they're complete like us, where we have a cells, tissue, organ, organ system, and organism. We're seeing these are pretty um, simple organisms that don't have a lot of this material in there. And so make sure that you guys do realize that, that we don't have a lot of crazy stuff with this. Um, one of the things that we'll see is we have this beautiful thing called a phylogenetic tree in your textbooks that you can look at and it's showing how everything is kind of linked together for these organisms. Okay, so have a good day.